Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nelson Portsoy here, and welcome back to uh, a brand new video here. As I'm going to do my season 5 air S roll, uh, round, round 5 tips here. Uh, if you guys are brand new to the channel over here, please give it a like and, sus and, su and subscribe here to the, to the channel over here as well for more low content there coming in the new the new future there as well. And let's, um, for this week's tips, um, they're going to be quite interesting there as well. As you know, uh, the Eels there as well, you know, they're still on a win, win streak as well, going, going uh, uh, back, back, back to back there, uh, you know, uh, with, with the Seagulls as well, especially uh, 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 at home. So, yeah, um, there are some pretty interesting tip tips as well uh, throughout this week there. you got the Broncos and Cowboys, you got the Raiders and the Seagulls. So that's, that's going to be very interesting as well. And you obviously got the Panthers there uh, with the shock and loss there as well uh, against the Warriors there as well, which the Warriors are uh, thank, thank, thankfully for them they do have the buy for four for this week there as well. And can the Panthers come back from that um, on a disappointing loss and can be able to come come up against the Knights? And who knows? This could be uh, the biggest test there here for Newcastle here to even cause a much more big, big upset there to crush uh, uh, Pan, 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 Pan party uh, e, 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 even more bigger than what it has been uh, re, re recently. So yep, yeah, uh, enough, uh, enough of me uh, rambling on. Let's get into the Season 5 SRL Round 5 tips. Okay, so first things first here, we've got ourselves, the team was here for the first of, for the first of the match here, for Round 5 here as well, as the Premier was here, of course me as Vice Captain there, as well as Attila Sister as well, as I've been absolutely just fantastic there, starting out lock there as well, uh, the ball skills, um, the hit-ups, um, you know, uh, the support, especially surprising my kicks, um, uh, quite fun, fun, fun enough. Uh, have been pretty uh, interesting as well. E even to uh, g give ourselves uh, a pretty good set, set as well uh, on our attack there as well, and um, to, to even get 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 us out of our own end as well, and to and to even put on pressure as well, and to chase them down there, and to just like with with our line speed there, and to just like drag them back there with. Uh, Christian uh, McKay, uh, John Ford at uh, uh, an absolute beast as well, and we have got uh, a couple changes as well uh, against the South Sea Rebels as well as we will be facing them also at Ains the same as well. Now uh, this this will be both uh, uh, a home uh, venue game for both both sides here as well, so it's going to be pretty new neutral for both sides here as well. So. Yeah, you know, um, I don't think we we uh, we ever uh, beat be, be the Souths. Um, I don't think we we ever been in Souths. I ever I don't think uh, I might be wrong, but yeah, um, I I feel like well these two teams, a uh, matter of fact, uh, everyone uh, expected. Parramatta and Seattle to go absolutely just uh, shambolic, but both these teams have showed so much uh, courageous, you know, um, our moments and heart and courage there towards the team as well. Uh, the energy there, you know, it's been picking up as well. Uh, the Eels, um, you know, man, uh, we've been so, so much more active there with our upgrades as well. And especially uh, Seattle with uh, Joshua Butterfield's there in the half as well, which I have heard rumours that he might be leaving uh, Seattle maybe sooner to maybe get uh, Ash Ashcrutch there back at Seattle as well. But there is, but 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 there is still a rumour there uh, to be uh, to be told. So we'll have to wait and see on that. Um, but but yeah, you know, uh, we have J Jason Farrow there. Uh, starting at num number 12 as well, uh, and we have uh, Lo Logan Schmidt there, 15, and M McDonald there in uh, number 16 there, uh, and Harris there uh, in number 17, so uh, it looks like I might be taking more of the kicking juice here 
uh, over John Marshall since uh, I did that mo most of the kick games there. As uh, a matter of fact, I have actually, surprisingly enough, and uh, I'm not even joking, I've made myself 101 kicking meters and over 110 run running meters as well, uh, I believe. So, yeah, that's quite uh, impressive there from a lot there from myself as well. And, you know, I feel like uh, it's speed that, you know, uh, obviously my speed there. Uh, it's maxed as well, uh, and you know, uh, and you know, my aim there is to really uh, upgrade for my strength and to really do uh, uh, the other skills as well. Uh, that is going to add on to my strength as well and to be an absolute unstoppable skill for skilling uh, force as well. Somewhat on how John Ford and somewhat of how your halves or or your hook is going to be. So combine that to. Uh, like a vice cam uh, as of me and, and was short, you know, uh, shifting himself as well uh, throughout the bench as well with, um, you know, J just and uh, Bar Barsic there as well, you know, come, coming on there for a couple of, of, of minutes as well. But it's going to be very, very, very uh, interesting there, you know, uh, if, we could, if we can be able uh, to solve the problem there as well uh, with, uh, with me and short there, calm coming off the, the bench as well against the South Sorry Rabbitohs there as well. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, the team list here as well. Uh, you can pause the video uh, if you want to. I don't really need uh, to really uh, say the whole thing, but in case if you can't see the bench as well, which I feel like it, uh, uh, that is going to be blocked off there with, with the pitches there in uh, uh, the video there as well. You got Bass there as the utility there as well. Just commit there for, uh, for number 15. Evan McDonald there for number six, 16 there. And Harris there still in number 17 as well. So that's pretty much the team was there for Parramatta. Quickly going through his uh, South Sea Brothers as well. Um, it's basically the same thing. Well, Ke Kevin Dixon there uh, at fullback there as well. Um, Josh Shadow Cart there in the sense in the centers as well. Joe Collins there. Wing, wing there as well. He's still, still on the wing. Um, as for the bench as well, in case you, you, you can't see it, Luke, uh, Driscoll there, uh, a a a a Ash Turner, Jack T uh, Tedesco there, Aaron White, and that's pretty much the whole team list there for South Sydney there. Uh, it, it looks pretty much uh, unchanged as well. I feel, I think they changed something there with the back point as well for, uh, for fullback. There, uh, I believe, I think Tyler Clay was playing fullback. I uh, might be incorrect. Um, I have not really uh, catch up with uh, the current or, or the recent South City game that, that they just played. But I do know that they are a courageous team and they're another team in the SRL to never ever uh, underestimate as well. So we really need to be uh, very uh, up, uh, uh, up uh, for this as well because I do feel like we're coming up for uh, against another courageous team also playing in the same home venue as us. I, I feel like this is going to be uh, the match of the week here uh, in my opinion as well. And and this and it, and and, uh, and, uh, and this is not being biased at all as well. I, ju I generally think you know uh, with 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 two teams uh, unexpectedly going on a great win streak here as well. I just feel like uh, this could possibly. Go go to go on point, and I'm gonna say, um, uh, you you know what I'm gonna say, uh, possibly, um, this is gonna sound crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna say, Brody Kennedy, uh, for some funny reason, I mean he is like four. I'm gonna say Kennedy there for, uh, uh, the uh, the field goal uh, over him or Evans as well. And I'm going to say uh, my first ever try scorer there is going to be, you know what? Um, uh, call me bias, but I'm going to go bold. I'm going to say, I myself, I'm going to say, I'm going to be the first ever try scorer there as well for this match as well. Uh, uh, throw your money at it. Call, call me bias. Say cap and I uh, annoy shit, but I reckon I'm gonna I'm gonna be the first ever try score there in the match as well. Uh, I'm gonna say the halftime score there is going to be uh, 
uh, six sword there as well. I feel like this, this is gonna be mu mu much more tight as well. So expect it to be very hectic here in, in this matchup here as well. Uh, and I'm gonna say my man of the match here is going to be I'm gonna say uh, Cherry Evans there, here. Uh, and I'm uh, you know what? Yeah, you know I'll say Cherry Evans there for man of the match. And I'm gonna say um, uh, the full time score is gonna. It's going to be 13 points to 12 here to Ross. And my special here is going to be any anytime try scorer there is going to be uh, my Michael Crimp. Uh, the two try sisters are going to be assisted there by Cherry Evans here. And I'm going to say that myself here, sorry, no, I'm going to say that Jordan Ford is going to run more than uh, 150 meters here as well. And that's my tips there for this match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get any better. Then this in this round five, uh, season five here as well in the SRO Premiership here as well as we got the Queensland Derby here between the Brisbane Broncos and uh, the current Premiership holders here, the North Queensland Cowboys here. And the Brisbane Broncos here for the team list here. They've got Joey Kelly there at football there as well, still replacing there at, at Corey Bell as well. Uh, some people are still on that debate there. Uh, if Sam Bourbon will possibly maybe return uh, fullback there, maybe at one time, which I, I doubt. I, I feel like Joe, Joe, Joey Kelly uh, is very lethal there on the kick returns as well, especially uh, his sidestep there at fullback there as well. So I feel like he's going to stay there permanently. And then they've got Cooper Gronk there on the wings, on the wing, of, on, oh, sorry, on the wing there as well. And then Justin plays or what uh, the footy lads there, shout, shout, shout out to them. They would love to call him Justin Pinks as well on the wing. Luke, Luke is juiced there in the centers as well. Herbin there, he's in this, he's in this uh, six centers as well. Jack Hale there for number six and Ro uh, and Rahan Kowal there for change as well. Uh, a halfback there as well. You got Williams there uh, for prop there. Bailey Wolves in there in the hooker position. Justin Monkey there for prop as well. Uh, Seamus Wolves in there. Back row there with Logan Guys. Simon Hunt. Jack Scott there for the utility as well. Uh, uh, Jackson Ellison as well. Obviously, he, you know, we, we know how big uh, his impact there coming off the bench. I don't, I don't really need to uh, uh, explain why. Ben O'Donnell there as well. And Eddie Oliver there still in number 17. So that's it for the present Broncos now for the North Queensland Cowboys now. We can hurry up. The current pressure holders for the Queensland Derby here in season five. They've got Tula. Are you my tongue there? He returns there. Back and forth back there as well. And T to Artura Maxwell there on the wing there as well. Bunty Gabola there in the centers there with Cameron. Hudson as well with Luke and Moscow on the other wing as well. In the halves, they have Damon uh, Moana there and, and Kieran Wells. Uh, Chris Law there uh, for the captain as well in the prop as well. Thomas Wallace there for the hooker there with the other prop there stays the pace. In the Broncos, they have Casey uh, Namina there with Kobe Johnson there. At lock, they have uh, Jamal Kalisko. Uh, Kalisko. Uh, Kal. Uh, Kal. Kal. Uh, Cole there as well. Uh, in the bench there, they have the utility players as well. Uh, Anado Tiakuri, uh, Coven Walmsley, uh, Johnny uh, Columbus there as well. And for, and for number 17 there, they have Hugh Snow. So that's it for the North Queensland Cowboys. Here's, for, sorry. So that's it for the North Queensland Cowboys here as well. And my tips here for this match, I'm going to say the first ever try scorer, he is going to go to I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that um, I'm gonna say uh, Tyler uh, Ayu uh, Matangi there is gonna get the first try score as well against the other uh, other uh, 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 the Brisbane Broncos there uh, my halftime score there is going to be ooh, I'm gonna say the North Queensland Cowboys will possibly be up by Boy, they're possibly going to be uh, up by 12. Uh, no, I'll go with uh, I'll go with uh, 12 points uh, to 60. 
uh, to six here to to the Cowboys there uh, at half time. Um, but, but before we go into the man of the match, I'm just going to save my special here so I can just leave my winner as well. Um, my special here is going to be my eight time try scorer here, which is going to be I'm going to say um, I'm going to say it's going to be the um. Uh, uh, the other fullback here, but from the Broncos here, I'm going to say Joey Kelly here for any time try scorer here, which sounds crazy here. Two fullbacks here scoring from uh, uh, the kick return. Uh, I'm going to say that I'm going to say, or I'm possibly going to say, uh, it's not coming up, uh, now it is. I'm going to say. That Damien uh, Moana is going to get two try assists as well. Um, oh boy. Um, and well, I'm not going to say with uh, confidence with uh, with Moana getting two try assists. Uh, Jack, Jack, Jack Cahill, I uh, don't think he might prove me wrong, but I'm just going to go with, with a bit safe here as well. So yeah, um, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna pick someone different. Actually, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna say that Chris Lloyd is gonna run more than 150 meters, 50 meters is what I'm gonna go with it safe. And I'm gonna say that uh, my man of the match here is going to be, I'm gonna say, that it's going to be Thomas Wallace here for man of the match here and um, I'm going to say that the Cowboys here are going to win it here in a tight contest as well a bit of a mid mid scoring uh, contest here I'm going to go with the Cowboys here to win it by let, let's go with uh, I'm going to say by oh yeah, bro. I'm going to say by 24 points um, to I'm gonna say 22 points to 16. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Cowboys here to win it by 22 points to 16. Here, it's gonna be a tight tight contest here, and I, and I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a flip of a coin for this one. So yeah, I mean you could argue the same thing for the Eels and the Rebels. But that's my tip there for the Quincy Derby here for season five. Okay, so we have got the milk uh, up against uh, the warring and uh, unconvincing seagulls, which they are in a couple of wide ways as well, especially Canberra. There, when both both, both of these teams, as a matter of fact, have lost to a great team, which is uh, also including my team, uh, the Premier Eagles as well. So yeah, um, this is going to be a very in interesting game here as well, uh, to us as well. Uh, mainly, well, um, we're going to go through the team list here straight after we read uh, the, uh, the Canberra Raiders, uh, the Green Machine, should I say there as well, uh, playing at home here at GAIO Stadium as well. So for the team list here, for, so for the team list here as well, they have Ellie Barnes there at fullback, Demander there on the wings with Mark Marshall Edwards there as well. In the, in the sense there, they have John Boy Mavia there, Jason a uh, low, uh, uh, low male uh, in the half. They have, they have you know, Matty Yusi, Luke, to Luke, Luke to uh, to, uh, uh, Thompson there, Samuel Lillard there in the prop with John Lewis and with the hooker there, Tim James in the back of there have Ro uh, 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 Rahul Akawal with Wally Allen as well. At the locker position as well have T. Rag. Uh, get, get hold. Wahoo. In the bench there as well, we have Ben Arnold there with Aaron Lee, Lee Nords as well. Lair Kitua there in 16th there as well. And for number 17, they have Charlie Rossini there. And for Manly there as well. Let's see if they can, let's see if there's any big changes here for the Seagulls here. Uh, after, um, you know, a poor first half and then, uh, a promising second half in the first couple of minutes there, but then four, you know, to the Eels as well at home. Trash Dinger there, uh, a fullback there, Malachi Booth there on the wings there with Tyler Weston 
in, in the centers there, they have uh, Dylan Sharpie there and Ethan Goodwin. In the half center, they have Will K and Cole Lewis as well. They have Brad Goodwin there as well. Uh, with Milo Kirigan in the in the hooker there as well, we have Jimmy uh, Ralph. In the back row there, we have J Jesse Bennett there and Hayden uh, Mahalert. Um, uh, sorry about his, sorry, sorry about uh, uh, the last name pronunciation there. Matt Harris there as well for, for the skipper there, for Locke. For the bench there, they have Le Leox Abrakash, Ar Blair Curtin there, Cree Alex Chapman there, and have Anthony uh, Delaney there. Well, the back one there is looking pretty interesting there with, I think they changed around with Ben, ben there as well, since I think he usually starts for the number 12 there in, in the back rows as well. Um, yeah, look, um, I, I I just reckon uh, the back line there is, you know, it's pretty good. I, you know, uh, Ch Chase Dinger there, he was struggling uh, to break through as well, especially on the kick return as well. And uh, Canberra, um, you know, I feel like um, they have struggled uh, quite a bit as well on to, to even stop it on the kick returns as well. But, you know, I feel like Tim James, you know, he is pretty good for his defense as well. And, you know, he can change downs there on, on the forwards as well. Um, but, man, um, uh, it's a pretty, you know, uh, tip of a uh, coin as well. It can go either way as well. But, um, man, I like it to the game much more minutes there as well. Um, I'm going to say, oh boy, uh, I'm going to say that Manly are going to come back uh, from this and they're going to look uh, at, at the second half here as well, uh, look, looking pretty good. I know maybe they need to get something with uh, Chaz Dinger, they're much more involved as well since, you know, apparently, you know, he's trying to upgrade, you know, so much. But you know, he keeps telling me that he doesn't know why uh, he's getting much more worse than once uh, he upgrades, which it's pretty odd. But I feel like um, he's going to go back to, to redemption there as well. And I feel like mainly um, they're possibly going to get uh, the big win there as well uh, down there at GI I, I same as well. But I'm going to say that they're going to win it by six points as well. And I'm going to say the first ever try score there is going to go to Dylan Sharpie there. Uh, I'm going to say the halftime score here is going to be uh, mainly there uh, by, I'm going to say, uh, by 80 points to 6. Uh, and I'm going to say that, yeah, I'm going to say that. Now, I'll go with uh, 80 points to 12 uh, at halftime. I'm going to say man over the match here is going to go... Uh, but um, I'll probably go to, uh, let's go with, I'm going to say Chaz Dingo. Um, I'm going to say that, um, uh, that Cole Lewis is going to get um, at least two tries as well for himself. And I'm going to say that, um, what else there? Um, the most running is there's what well, I'm gonna say that Chaz Dingo is gonna run more than 200 running is there for himself, and I'm gonna say that my man, sorry, and I'm gonna say that my full time score here for Manly here is going to be uh, Seagulls going to win it here by let's go with the Rays there. Well, I'm gonna say I think Rays will at least score at least one so 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 so. Uh, soft, soft try there in the second half there by I think by by the forward there as well um, probably by by freaking by freaking um, uh, with uh, with John and uh, Lewis there uh, to, uh, to, uh, to even score one um, and then and then possibly I think maybe um, maybe with uh, Tyler, Tyler Weston there to possibly uh, end all, all there as well. 
um, with with it to make it by 24 points uh, to 18 as well. So yeah, that's my final final score there for Raiders there. I'm getting seals there for redemption there down the Geo Stadium there. Okay, um, our uh, last. But not least, we've got the Newcastle Knights and the Premier Premiers as well. I'm going to try and make this short and sweet here so I don't make this video too long as well. So for the Newcastle Knights there, for the team list as well, they've got themselves uh, Robbie Elms there, fullback. Dylan Mur Murray there on the wing there with uh, Marek Oldfield there. In the centre there, they have Mark Iron and Dom Pong 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 Sin there as well. In the half there, they have Jack ja ja Jack O'Neill there with uh, with Matthew Vaughan Vor there. In the props they have Low Logan Stranger with uh, Robo Marbus in there with the hooker there, Mar Mark Lee there. Uh, in the back of there they have uh, Sabah 2 uh, two Ewa, uh with Pete Verretto there. And in, in the lock position there they have Bo Salah there as well. Uh, for the bench there um, they've got uh, Alex uh, Christie with Lachlan uh, Tierney. In number 16, they have Manu Fa'afili. In, in number 17, they finally have uh, Isaac Edwards there. Uh, surprised enough, um, he's going to start on the bench there with uh, Matt Morgan there uh, replacing his uh, uh, position as well. So it looks like um, there are some changes there as well for Newcastle playing uh, to even uh, crush parents from high there. Much more, you know, worse than what he is here uh, at uh, uh, McDonald Jones Stadium there. And for the Prem Panthers, for their team as well, they have got, got them themselves there. Um, K. Chad McKinney there, Nathan Fisher, Cody Mansell, they put there, Jake Morris in there as well, uh, Oshay LA, uh, Ash Crutcher there, Luke Melkis there, Daniel. Hell, hell yeah, Law, Clint, uh, Sinclair, Daniel Punch, uh, Taylor's Riff, George, uh, Koda Diab, Lock Lock Martin there in the utility there, so I'm, I'm quite surprised he's not starting in the team there, so he's on the bench. In in interesting uh, to see that from Skip himself there. Uh, Cam uh, uh, in there as well, Ben Punch, uh, uh, Ollie Pace, and um, yeah, man, um, very in in interesting uh, change there, which I did not expect uh, the skipper there, Lock Lo Lo Mine there, to start himself there in the utility there. Maybe, you know, he's maybe um, uh, the back row for himself there is not really getting that much uh, impact there as well. And I feel like maybe, maybe putting himself there in the utility there as well is probably going to put him somewhere where he's going to create some big uh, in impact as well with. You, you know, with 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 the size there with Co Co Diab here, which he, he is a big boy there. Uh, I looked as well, which um, the way that he sets up uh, the full pack as well. Um, uh, I'll show you uh, uh, lay there with uh, uh, Ash Crush, Crush there in the half there. You know, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, Oli Pace there for the bench as well. Ben Punch, uh, a Cal 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 uh, I really like like liking the bench there, and for Newcastle man, uh, you know they they're playing could be a break that they could be a uh, make a break here. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see on the change there uh, with uh, Isaac Edwards as well, not not so in the halves as well. So it's gonna be pretty interesting there on how Matt Mac Morgan's gonna go with. But uh, man, man. Um, I believe that the Premier Panthers are going to be way too good there for the for the for the for the for the, for the Newcastle Knights as well. Now I'm going to say it's going to be uh, a 30 plus here, so I'm going to say um, the uh, the Premier Panthers here uh, are going to win it by uh, a blow right here. I'm going to say they're going to win it by 36 point. I don't know. I'll say 30, 30 points. Um. Uh, uh, to uh, 10 so yeah I'm so now I'll go with 30 points to 12 here for the for the the parent pips as well I'm gonna say the first try scorer there is gonna score there by if you can load up by Nathan Fisher and I'm gonna say my halftime score here is gonna be uh, the parent Panthers to be up by uh, 80 points uh, to nil and I'm gonna say 
Um, um, my eight-time try score there is going to be off by uh, Jacob Morrison as well, and I'm going to say um, the, the try assist there is going to be uh, off there uh, by Ash Crouch as well. I'm, I'm going to say he's going to, he's going to get himself two try assists, and I'm going to say that. Um, oh man, I'm going to say uh, that Kane Chat Chum Kenny um, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna say that Kane Chad McKinney there is probably gonna get himself uh, over 200 run and meters as well, and it's gonna be uh, an absolute flog fest there for uh, uh, the Prem Pants as well. And I'm gonna say, man, of oh, the match is gonna be Kane Chad McKinney there. Um, yeah, um, uh, the Prem here just gonna be way too good there for, for the Newcastle Knights here. So, lads, uh, that's gonna be it here. For the season five uh, air sort of round round five tips as well. Uh, if you guys did did I uh, enjoy my tips as well, uh, please give it uh, a like and subscribe here to the channel here for more low content there coming in the near future as well. And um, yeah, that's gonna be here as well. And uh, let, let's go off to 500 subscribers as well. We're going absolutely just uh, amazing as well. We're 471 as well. Uh, so hopefully uh, for this video, it's going to pick up the pace for, for a bit as well. There's going to be plenty of more content to come here for this week as well. And um, yeah, so this has been National Sports Day here. Uh, take care and peace. I'm coming in hot.